Immunoblotting, often referred to as Western blotting, is used to identify within a protein sample specific antigens recognized by polyclonal or monoclonal antibodies. This procedure typically follows one or 2D gel electrophoresis and involves the transfer of separated proteins to nitrocellulose membranes, incubation of these membranes with primary and secondary antibodies directly or indirectly conjugated to enzymes, and visualization of protein antigens on these membranes using colored or fluorescent substrate reactions. In this video, we provide a step-by-step -step demonstration of an immunoblotting procedure. Hi, I'm Sean Gallagher from UVP. I collaborate with the Proteomic Center here at the Keck Graduate Institute. Today I'm going to be showing you immunoblotting analysis. It involves a number of steps, including protein separation, blotting of the proteins onto membranes, immunoprobing, and visualization with chromogenic and chemiluminescent substrates. So let's get started. Before starting the immunoblotting procedure, the protein samples must first be separated by electrophoresis using small or standard sized one or two dimensional gels. Prepare the antigenic samples and load them into the lanes on the gel. Include pre-stained or biotinylated protein molecular weight standards in one or more of the gel lanes. These protein markers will transfer to the membrane and conveniently indicate membrane orientation and sizes of proteins after immunostaining. 